Uh, please excuse my voice. I'm getting chemotherapy right now. Anyway, this is a short video about how all of us are both roughly one half man and one half woman joined together when things go just right as we were created. First, I would like you to see how we are practically all living creatures that have a very similar makeup, two legs, arms, organs, etc. We'll start uh, with the most basic one cell animal that exists in just about any body of water, the amoeba. It moves about by extending finger-like projections of protoplasm. And like most microscopic one cell, it absorbs food through its gelatinous body. The one cell divides itself to make an identical twin and so forth. When the two amoebas eventually come together, the potential for diversification becomes apparent. Now they can take in food between the two much easier because the enclosed area can exert more pressure and maneuvering uh, to help break down uh, of small creatures' uh, life forms. Eventually, appendages assist in movement and assist in, in escaping predators, not to mention reproduction of more advanced two or more simple cell creatures where one half uh, spends energy in egg production or splitting to make more and the same, and then the other half continues to secure food and provide useful survival benefits. And from that, you start to see creatures that look like frogs eventually, then mammals, and then us humans after millions of years. Hence the noticeable hairline split we all have. That signifies two people, and depending on where it lies, left, right, or somewhere in between, determines what percentage we will be man or women. The higher the percentage becomes the dominant gender, being uh, a birth-giving mother or a protective father. Here you see a couple of pictures. Uh, one is my brother, he passed away, and uh, this other woman who has a part almost down the middle. Now, because his part is all the way to one side, he is more likely, uh, less likely to be gay and found uh, sex with men to be repulsive. Uh, not if you're one. Uh, Robert, in this case, my brother, is more of a man. Now, if you look at the woman, this may be her uh, real hair uh, part, but if it were, she is more likely uh, to be gay or understanding of them. She would be considered half woman, half man. So where does it come from? It comes from environmental pollution areas, some natural, some man-made. You as a baby have no control at this time, not even uh, your parents. Such thing as disasters occur often, as do wars. None of it is healthy for a pregnant woman. Drugs, constant conflicts, eating disorders, and the biggest are wars. How many of our boys have been uh, in some uh, war from Vietnam to the Middle East? It was not affected. As time passes, more of the environment is being cleaned up, as are global wars and conflicts. I can recall as a child the Delaware River, the Missouri River, and the Mississippi looking like this. Trash, plastics in our water, and not only that, many of the industry were caught dumping all kinds of toxic chemicals in our rivers to get rid of it. Not anymore. Much of this is being cleaned up, but there's still some companies that still do this or backyard idiots that dump their oil from their car in the backyard thinking it'll just dissolve into the ground. They don't understand a lot of that oil today are synthetic and have toxic chemicals in them. Even if you were to li uh, leave this crowded city where all these problems exist and move let's say to a community area, as you can see in this photo, they're still all crammed together. They're still smoking some of that, or smelling some of that exhaust gas. And uh, all the conflicts that you have with your neighbors because of a tree on your side or the dogs or the kids or whatever's going on. There's also a lot of uh, hanky-panky going on amongst neighbors, having an affair and so whatnot. All this leads to a, a pregnant woman uh, not having the perfect uh, chemistry in her system to have a perfect child. So she's going to have something 
where when you look at the part on your hair, you're going to see it's not going to be to one side or the other. It's going to be somewhere in between. And that's why you're, you're, what you're seeing today, a lot of that is comes from uh, overpopulation. There are many scientific studies and books written about this. Left-handed uh, or gays are more likely to be left-handed. Um, and that includes criminals or, or more likely to be left-handed. Uh, you can further discover that it also comes from bad parenting. Check out left-handed uh, comes from bad parenting. It is also on YouTube. Here is another fact about how you can tell if a person is one way or another. The next time you're at the beach or at some pool with lots of people, observe some of the men's breast nipple sizes. Often, but not always, one or the other gay partner will show larger or even darker nipples than what you see in the majority of true men. In the photo, the image in the middle has not been doctored. All the other ones have. Uh, you'll see at the top that's normal, and those at the bottom, this was uh, would be abnormal. Doctors uh, will often say it's just a hormonal imbalance, and with some injections uh, can be reversed. However, such remedies are only temporary, causing the imbalance to eventually return. I'm not a doctor or scientist, but this is what I see, and it is stuff professionals avoid admitting unless they themselves discovered such facts. Isn't that the truth? Here you see a, a picture of uh, myself in black uh, shirt, my brother who's younger, and my mom. And you'll see that we're, we all have that part on our left side, indicating what you see is what you get. In other words, I'm fully man as my brother is, and my mom is a full woman. She's made uh, six he uh, healthy boys and one girl. And that's, you know, the part says it all. Here is another uh, picture of some of my ancestors, and you look at them all, and the reason they have all these children that are healthy and more of what you see is what you get is if you look at the part on their hair, it's all to one side. When it's all to one side, what you're looking at is if it's a woman, it's a woman. If it's a man, it's a man. It's not something in between or a percentage of what you see. Here you see an Amish family. And of course, like uh, most women do with their little girls, is they tend to part their hairs down the middle. Doesn't mean that's where the natural part is. As you can see, they have wonderful children and none of the problems that you're often seeing in uh, regular societies. What you see here is very common amongst the Amish, but uh, what you won't see is a lot of depression, conflicts of war, uh, drugs, pollution, and whatnot. They leave, uh, most of them live in clean air and therefore often have uh, perfect children. When you live in the city, you have all that pollution, drinking, alcohol, uh, and uh, mixed marriages, uh, all kinds of problems. They don't have that. And that's why they have these wonderful children. And I can almost guarantee if you look at most of them, you'll see that their hair is parted properly to one side. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up so others will see it. And visit us at www.larryandjane.com.